How to treat plants for leaf lacewing You can easily confuse lace bugs with lace wings in conversation, as many folks use the terms interchangeably. You can t, however, confuse the damage they do to plant leaves, for only lace bugs stinged ASPP. Cause, harm. Green lace wings Chrysoperla SPP. And brown lace wings Hemrobius SPP. Are beneficial, or predatory, insects, and feed on smaller, sedentary pests, such as scales, mealybugs and aphids. The confusion among species originates from the insect's wings. Both lace bugs and lace wings have four membranous wings that resemble lace when viewed by the unaided eye. After identification, you can treat your plant leaves for lace bugs organically, without harming the beneficial lace wings. Things you will need Wood skewer optional Magnifying glass optional White paper Pump type sprayer or spray bottle Insecticidal soap containing 2% potassium salts of fatty acids 70% neem oil 75% concentrated imidacloprid Identification Pick the insect you suspect causes the damage to the plant's foliage off the foliage by hand or with a wood skewer and place it on a sheet of white paper. Check the size of the insect. Lace bugs measure between 1 8 and 1 quarter inch long, while green lace wings measure half to 3 quarters inch long, and brown lace wings measure 3 8 to half inch long. Examine the wings of the insect. Lace bugs, like lace wings, have four membranous wings comprised of minute, dark, opaque or clear cells. However, lace bug wings have brown and black dots covering them, while green and brown lace wings have fine, delicate veins covering their wings. Brown lace wings also have minute, hair-like structures covering their wings, while lace bugs do not. Study the insect's bodies. Lace bugs have elongated, cylindrical, multi-cord bodies, with thoraxes made of the same cellular material as their wings. Green lace wings have green, spindle-shaped bodies with two elongated pincer-like mouth parts, causing the insect to resemble an alligator. Brown lace wings have brown, beige or dark green ovoid, or oblong, bodies. Check the damage to the plant's leaves. Lace bugs cause yellow stippling and bleaching of leaves, most noticeably in late summer. Although mites also cause leaf stippling, lace bugs leave behind dark spots of excrement on the underside of the leaves, whereas the former does not. Lace wings don't damage your plant's foliage. Treatment Pour 5 tablespoons of concentrated insecticidal soap containing 2% potassium salts of fatty acids in a pump-type sprayer tank of treating several plants for lace bugs, and 1 and 1 quarter tablespoons of insecticidal soap in a spray bottle of treating only a few plants for lace bugs. Add 1 gallon of water to the sprayer tank or one quarter gallon of water to the spray bottle, and shake to mix. Spray both sides of the foliage until covered. Apply the solution no more than three times in a two-week period. Mix together two tablespoons of 70% neem oil with one gallon of water in a pump-type sprayer if insecticidal soap proves ineffective on lace bugs. Combine half tablespoon of neem oil and one quarter gallon of water if treating only a few plants. Shake the tank or bottle to mix and spray the foliage on both sides until covered. Apply every one to two weeks until you have the lace bugs under control. Mix together one quarter teaspoon of 75% concentrated imidacloprid with two and a half gallons of water in a pump type sprayer if you have a severe lace bug infestation, and both neem oil and insecticidal soap fail to control them. Shake the tank well to mix and spray the foliage on both sides. Allow 60 days for full effect after applying. Tips Warnings Use a 10x magnifying lens to make identifying lace bugs easier. Spray pesticides on dry, calm days for best results. Only use imidacloprid as a last resort, as it also harms beneficial insects, including brown and green lace wings. Always follow label instructions when using pesticides. Wear chemical proof gloves and safety goggles when handling pesticides. <laughs>